Looks like we're going to be dealing with fire danger on the rise today. The problems that we're facing, temperatures are climbing, humidity getting a little bit lower for today as well. 88 to 92 degrees, the projected high temperatures in the valley today. We're going to be seeing winds out of the south to 10 miles an hour. That's the projection for your afternoon, although it does not look like that's going to be the case for very long. We're mostly going to see lighter north winds today, and we will also see humidity as low as 20% heading into your afternoon. So fire danger today stays in the high range. We could see that creeping up a little bit through the weekend as we do see winds picking up out of the north and humidity dropping through your Labor Day while temperatures continue to rise. Winds this morning out of the north and east, but they're mostly just calm. Three miles an hour right now for areas like Chester and Red Bluff. South winds are expected to develop later on this afternoon. And getting a look at what we're seeing for humidity. Overnight, it's rebounded pretty nicely. 75% right now for Redding, 67% for Whiskey Town, 67% right now in Chico as well. So humidity rebounding somewhat nicely overnight. It does not look to be as good for the weekend forecast. So just be aware of that. If you're heading out and going camping this weekend, you're going to want to make sure that you are very careful with those campfires. Meanwhile, getting a look at what you can expect for air quality today, it's mostly in the moderate range for the valley. That's what we're seeing in the yellow here, and that extends through the northern mountains, Modoc County, and into Oregon. Some areas of the mountains, though, in the good range early on today. So that's great news if you are looking to head out and go camping for this weekend. Meanwhile, satellite and radar, we're seeing some thin clouds rolling through the far northern zones of the state. That's the remnants of this cooler system that's passing us by right now. So as that tracks off to the east, that opens up the door for high pressure to build in. High means dry. That's what's dominating our weekend forecast. Dry weather and hotter temperatures are heading your way. There's also going to be plenty of sunshine, so don't forget that sunscreen if you're going to be outdoors. Hats and sunglasses also a very good idea. Meanwhile, getting a look forward through your weekend, no showers in sight, staying mostly sunny, but a bit hazy out there. And then we do see another cooling trend starting to arrive Tuesday into Wednesday of next week. High 80s to low 90s in the valley this afternoon, low to mid 80s in the Sierra and Cascades, low 80s to low 90s in the northern mountains, and low to mid 80s in the foothills for your Friday forecast. And ahead in your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast for your weekends always in view. High 80s for Chico today, mid 90s for Saturday and Sunday, 94 degrees, your projected high for Labor Day, then back down to the high 80s by Thursday of next week. So that cooling trend really settles in on Tuesday on. For Redding, 90. 2 degrees for today, 98 degrees on Saturday, 99 Sunday, then 97 projected for Labor Day. Mid-90s Tuesday, back down to the low 90s by Thursday of next week. And our summer safety tips from Enlo Medical Center. Water and sand can reflect UV rays, increasing risk of sunburns. Seek shade if your shadow is shorter than you are. And also, wear sunglasses and a hat. A lot of sunshine out there. And our friends at Enlo Medical Center wanted to give you these tips specifically for Labor Day weekend. If you'd like to find more tips, you can go to enlo.org slash summer safety.